Okay, so uh, we decided uh, that we're gonna uh, we're going to split into three groups. So the first group is is Fakri and Khalid. They will do the logo, and then second group is Anku and Ame. They will create the system. Uh, and then the last group is me. I will edit the vlogs. Uh, so we decided on the topic. We we chose vending machine menu. So yeah, this is the progress we've done so far. Me and Khaled just done our logo for assignment mathematic. Uh, you can come here and take a look. Come, come. Uh, this only consists of three, uh, three equation that we just learn inside our class. Uh, okay, that's all. Uh, so we decided to use C programming because it's a wide range of operator, and it took us it plus hour because we still beginner um, next I will pass to Uncle for the next uh, explanation so yeah uh, for starting the C programming we use come here we use the hashtag include studio H for studio is for standard input and output okay and instrument is to start the program we use three uh, we use float at three uh, thing money price and change so float is for decimal point at man, uh, in the money price and change so in integer choice is for whole number the whole programming so i will pass to Iman for explain the menu okay so for the menu we type down we type down print f to to make sure that the words appear on the screen later on uh, even with the price and every anything that needs to be appear on the screen so uh, we could have for for this part the price we could have put it at the bottom below the 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 item the snack but then we decided to put it at the side because it's more uh, neat and it just makes us uh, makes it easier for us to program for below here after the menu we we write down uh, print f enter your choice and then below it is scan f this one is if if later on in the vending machine you type down the number and then the it will it will scan for the number and then when when they uh, they will scan for the number the snack that you chose will appear yeah so uh, that's uh, for us for today because it's quite late right now and we will continue tomorrow because yeah again uh, we still uh, beginner okay thank you so after a lot of brainstorming we decided to make a new logo because the old logo is kind of plain for us it, uh, it may result to us less score for the assignment so we decide to make a new logo to make us achieve 50% for the assignment if you can <laughs> so as, as we can see over here it, it take us basically one to two hours to complete the assignment uh, we did a lot of equation uh, it consists of 24 equations such as linear uh, polynomial functions and the new functions that we, ju we just learned in the class uh, is uh, trigonometric functions for the logo we just did there's a lot of meaning I, I can say it's a lot of meaning, but that's a meaning <laughs> to each of the thing that we did. With the symbol. Yeah, the symbol. That's like Khaled said. For the meaning, I pass it to the Khaled. Okay, guys, as you can see, uh, in the in the logo, this box, right, this box right here, represent the the vending machine. And then the this arrow represent the flow input and output. And then the ovals right here represent the whole system whole system process in the vending machine yeah we have done for our part uh, which is coding right now we want to show you how the pro uh, the code runs uh, so if you come here over here so my friend uncle will show you uh, will help me so right now we are uh, running the coding uh, there's um, 20 menus uh, in there 
and for example um, you choose to uh, buy Pepsi which is one enter and then they will show you uh, the cost of the Pepsi and enter your money so uh, for example we enter one ringgit and then they sh they say uh, add more money um, because uh, right now um, you need to put uh, z uh, 50 cents okay for example we put another one ringgit and then yeah it say accepted and it give a uh, back change uh, the change is 50 cent so what if um, uh, run the code for example uh, you choose Pepsi again and you put 1 ringgit and 50 cent the exact amount of the Pepsi so yeah it will say no change which is which is um, which is uh, which is no no refund uh, no refund or any change um, next uh, run again so right now um, what if you put um, your choice is zero which is no inside the list and they and then they, they say invalid input and then they finish the code okay that's it thank you we finish our our logo but we for today we're explaining the equation we just did okay for number one our equation is y sama dengan kurungan x tambah kosong kuasa 2 dan tolak 4 uh, first, of all, first of all we look at if it's open upward or downward we can see that uh, the graph is open upward uh, second we find the vertex this is the the jalan kerja for the vertex which is x a x equal to 2 and negative 2 for y intercept this is the jalan kerja and it's negative 4 ok the second the second equation is the the new the new topic that we just learn which is the trigon trigonometric functions ok this one is y equals to negative sin x ok for amplitude we the, for the amplitude amplitude for this equation is 1 and period is 2 pi and the period for each uh, static wave is uh, pi over 2 uh, that's all